Hello. All right. So today we're going to talk about ditching perfection, understanding you will never quote unquote probably be fixed and that we all screw up from time to time. And that's okay. That's part of this journey. So you have to think of it very logically. Even if you're really good at tracking, even if you're really good at losing weight, even if you're really good at maintaining weight, there's going to be different life circumstances that happen due to aging, that happen due to pandemics, that, <laughs> that happen due to a lot of things. And you are not always going to do all the right things all the time. And that is okay. What matters is what do you do next? And the reason I want to have this conversation is, is because last night I probably overate by at least 500 calories. I had bread that I didn't plan on, butter that I didn't plan on pancakes that I didn't plan on. And I was up four pounds on the scale today. Did I do the things that I had laid out on paper to do yesterday? No, I'm freaking human. And so are you. And that's the thing. It's like, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to have slip ups. You're going to be eight years out of maintaining and you're still going to do those things. And what I want to encourage you to do is if you let go of the judgment, if you say, you know, Heather, you're human, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, put your name in there, by the way, not my name. You're, you're human, you're going to make mistakes. And it's less important, did you do everything correctly every moment of every day, but did you course correct? Hear me on that. Course correct. Think about anything you learn in your life. You learn to drive, you learn to write, you learn to walk. Uh, fill in the blank, right? And you're hopefully continuing to learn things. Like if you get hired at a new employer, you're going to learn to work the copy machine. You're going to learn these different things, right? Do you know it from day one? No. Can you make mistakes? Yes. Will you continue to learn and grow in all areas of your life? Absolutely. What you need to do is drop the judgment, not be critical. And this is how it goes in my head. Hey, Heather, you overate last night. Okay. Did you track it? Yes. Okay. Good. Now let's move on to doing the next good choice. Let's move on to eating your next regular meal. Let's move on to taking that nighttime walk. Let's go on to the next good choice. That's where your control is. We all make mistakes. I know I'm going to make another one probably within the next month. That's just the way it is. But I don't beat myself up. Now, the old Heather used to do that. She used to be very judgmental. She used to think that she should have everything figured out. She should never make a mistake. And when she did, she had so much judgment around it that and felt so much shame that she would continue those behaviors on into the day, into the week. I mean, I could easily gain quite a bit of weight through a course of a week because I thought I had messed up and that I ultimately had to live at this level of perfection that I didn't see as being attainable and I would self-sabotage. And what I'm here to tell you is that level of perfection that you're striving for to eat all the clean, healthy food, to never overeat your calories, to never potentially binge, all of that belief is what's holding you back, not the mistake itself. If you allow the mistake to happen, oh, I overeat last night. I am up on the scale today. Okay, great. What can I do today to course correct? Hear me say that, course correct. What does course correct mean? Yes, you had an off moment. Now you get back on. And honestly, that's how I've maintained my weight all this time. That's how I lost my weight. I finally ditched this idea of I had to be perfect. I ditched this idea that I was never going to make a mistake, that I had to be the A++ student, get all the gold stars. I had to be the perfect person in the classroom. No, I'm going to screw up. I'm going to get a few Fs on my test. That's okay. What do I do the next test? That's what we want to be focusing on. So please hear me today. Course correct. If you have an off eating moment, it's okay. If you're doing a delayed gratification technique, get right back to it. If you maybe had a binge, go ahead and get right back to your next normal meal. Do not beat yourself up for it. Say, this is part of my learning experience. I'm going to have many more to come. And all I need to do is get back to what I know is helpful. It's kind of like that old story about, you know, if you have a tire with one flat tire, 
you have a car with one flat tire, you wouldn't then go around and slash the other three, right? But that's very much what we do. We want to avoid that. What we want to do is patch the one tire, get back on the road. That's our goal. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.